Hey everybody, Daniel here. Anita and I are in Sedona. We drove in a little earlier and had some lunch and then now uh, we took a little break in the hotel. You know, had, had some water, sat in the air conditioning, recharged a bit. Now we're actually heading over to the, uh, this is pretty famous at this point, but it's the uh, Chapel of the Holy Cross. And it's basically a church that's built into the Red Rock Mountainside of Sedona. And it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I think it was designed by an apprentice of Frank Lloyd Wright. So he's, he's one of my, like, favorite architects. I kind of like his buildings. There's one in LA too. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. like a very amazing architectural okay. site, you know? Got it. So I mean, if you're not into going to church or whatever, like you should still go because it's, it's pretty beautiful. It will be amazing. Yeah, and it's, I think you, you, you can overlook Sedona yeah. a bit as well. So I just kind of Googled it a bit. So we'll see when we get there, you know? Mm. It's like a big energy in this place, right? I don't know, it's kind of like some hippie stuff, but you know, like something about like the earth's energy and um, aligning your chakras and I don't know, some okay. new age stuff I don't really follow, but... But um, you feel better in this place? I don't know, it feels exactly the same so far. <laughs> <laughs> the lighting looks like it would be really beautiful once it sets and the rocks and everything, so... Yeah. Okay, so like a lot of Sedona, like as I read or hear, is very, you know, it's it's just about wellness and well-being and you know, like you know, spas and retreats and you know, just a place to like recharge. You know, if you live in the busy city or have a hectic life, I I think that's like the the pole of Sedona. You know? Meditation. Oh, those those were just other digital nomad weirdos uh, talking about meditation. Uh, Qingwa is not known for meditation. Uh, we passed yeah, by like a bell rocks. rock. I, I think it's bell rock. I don't know. Yeah. But that looks like it. I don't know. There's just a lot of rocks and beautiful Good. things to see. Yeah, this is like the scenic byway, as they call it. It's the it's Highway 179. And you can see all the like the rocks over there, like insanely beautiful. And then, we're actually gonna turn on the chapel road right now. I think that's where everyone's going, is like a line of cars. I think that you yeah, can get I'll... off the car and climb a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of hikes here, but just look ahead of you right yeah. here. It's freaking beautiful. Look at this, the valley, and oh my god. And people live here too, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So beautiful. The sun's a little hot right now though. <laughs> wow, this is incredibly beautiful. Alright, so this is actually perched on top of a, like a little mountain here. We actually parked down there. And then there's a little bit of a walk. Hey! Hi. <laughs> nice mask, Anita. Yeah, the sun's pretty harsh right now. Oh, this is crazy. Look at this, just on a hill. Okay, we can go first. That's it. All right, 
I think that is a definite, definite must see while in Sedona. It's super cool, especially if you like architecture, especially if you're into like Frank Lloyd Wright-esque stuff. Um, I would say definitely check it out. It has a really, really interesting feel. Uh, it's just a chapel, so it's not like this massive church or anything, but it sits atop of a hill. You can see a lot of the valley and it's just pretty gorgeous. So, you know, whether you're religious or not, definitely check it out. The style is actually kind of like Point Lloyd, right? It kind of has the same feel. It's, it's, it like uses all the elements really well together and it kind of marries it all. So we are gonna continue on and drive around the scenic byway here and uh, hopefully find a place to catch the sunset. Uh, Cathedral Rock is somewhere in the back here. Not, not sure which one it is yet, but um, that's another landmark. So we'll head over to Cathedral Rock and uh, yeah, there's not much cell signal. So we're gonna have to figure it out without Google Maps. So stay tuned for that comedy. Probably because, you know, the cell signal disrupts the natural energy vortexes, you know, you're not going to be able to align your chakras. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that is Cathedral Rock, by the way. Oh yeah, that's a vista point. Get out and chill. So beautiful. So beautiful. Seriously though, it's really nice. Mm. We're just way too early for the sunset, because sunset's supposed to be seven and it's only five, so. Maybe we should go eat first. Just not sure what to do, yeah. Um, we're, we have Cathedral Rock in front of us, and this is the area that I kind of want to see the sunset in. Mm -hmm. um, so we're still a little bit of ways out, so we're going to go probably grab a bite first. So back to town. <laughs> Freestyle. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful in the sun. It's already looking really nice. Oh, it's got that atmospheric haze. So now we're just kind of cruising around back on the 179, that uh, that that Red Rock scenic byway, and uh, we're about a half hour from sunset or from actual sunset. So so now we should start getting to uh, those famous colors that the Sedona sunset is famous for. So let's see. <laughs> For the gas? $28. 28 full tank? Uh, no. No, we, we were maybe like, I think I put in like two thirds of the tank or mm. like three quarters. <laughs> okay. okay. I think right now is the perfect, perfect time. Sunset. Oh, the sunset. Yeah. Good time. Like, never shoot during the day 
hours. You always shoot during magic hour. Like this. See? Like everything, like, we, we drove up here just a few hours ago. It didn't look this beautiful at all, right? And now it's just insanely pretty. So I think it's true, you know, you want to, uh, you want to shoot during the right time. It's weird they close before sun sunset. They really should like yeah. close it at sunset and at least like. Oh my god, this is this is incredible. <laughs> the rocks and the sunset and it's just like the color is wow. Yeah. I can see why the Sedona sunsets are one of those must-see things in, in your life. So I'm pretty grateful and glad that I was able to come here with Anita and experience it and bring you guys along too. Yeah, you also have just very like a serene feeling. This is pretty, this is nice. I just think more people should watch more sunsets, you know, like... You have a finite number of them in your life, so... You know, yeah. Try to get out there and enjoy it. Thanks everybody for joining us today. You can see the smile on my face. I am definitely, definitely a happy camper. It was a really cool experience in Sedona, Arizona. Sunset was absolutely beautiful. Totally worth the drive. Just amazing. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.